Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Miss Ward and I'm here to teach you the first lesson of spinning earth. And um, so if you're a first grader, then you're in the right place. If you're not a first grader, you're welcome to stay. This is gonna be a great unit. Um, so I'm glad you're here. So again, my name is Miss Ward and all you need for today's lesson is somebody to talk to. So if you're at home right now and there's somebody in your house you can talk to, a big brother or sister, or maybe your folks are around or an uncle, um, that works great. If there isn't somebody around who has time to be um, your partner that you can talk with today, uh, a stuffed animal works fantastic. I have lavender here that I'm gonna talk to. Um, if you don't have a stuffed animal even, you know what I sometimes do is I talk to my thumb. Your thumb can be a great partner as well. Okay, you guys ready? Let's get started. All right, so today um, we're gonna start with what we already know and we're gonna talk about the sky. So what do we see in the sky? Let's start with that. So I'm gonna ask you two different types of questions. One is what or how questions. So what or how? So what is different about these pictures or how are these two pictures different? That's like the what or how questions. And the next one is why? And that's the one where I really want you to be doing some thinking of why you think those differences are there. So the what or how questions are more about like what you're actually seeing and then the why questions are like, why do you think? So those things that you can't see. So let's see how we do here. So I wanna practice with cookies so that we get the difference between these what and how questions. So what do you notice about these two pictures? Let me look at these two pictures. What do I notice? How are these two pictures different? Okay, so I notice that the top cookie is a whole cookie, and then the bottom cookie is missing a piece, right? So that's how they're different and what I notice. I notice that it's two cookies. It looks like maybe they're chocolate chip. Maybe I'm hungry. Okay, so that's the what or how questions. And then the why questions. So that's why do I think these two pictures look different? Why are they different? Hmm, I wonder what happened between the first picture of the cookie and the second picture of the cookie. That's what I'm wondering. Why do these pictures look different? Do you guys have some ideas of why these two pictures look different? Yeah, I think so too. Somebody took a bite of the cookie and that's the second one, right? So that's the why. Why do these pictures look different? Why? Well, because it looks like somebody took a bite out of the cookie. All right, so let's use those same skills with these three pictures. These are three photos of the sky above the same place, but they're different times in one day. So we have the morning picture, the afternoon, and the night, okay? So what do you notice in these pictures? That's the what. So just look and see what is different in these pictures maybe, what's the same. Can you tell me what you notice in these pictures? Okay, next is why do you think the sky looks different at different times? Why do you think the sky looks different in the morning, the afternoon, and night? Do you guys have any ideas? You know what, this is a good time for you to talk to your partner. Can you tell your partner, just like I'm gonna tell Lavender, can you tell your partner why you think the sky looks different at different times? Okay, great. Now, these are pictures that show the sky in the morning and at night. So how is the sky different at these two times? Now remember, this is just the question where I want you to say what you see in these pictures. How are they different? Now how about why? Again, talk to your partner. Why do you think the sky looks different in the morning and at night? Okay, now these, 
feel like these two pictures are really tricky because the top one shows the sky in the morning and then the bottom one shows the sky in the afternoon. So how is the sky different in these two times? You guys see that difference? I see it. It's right here. I bet you guys saw this. There's the sun right here in the morning picture. And look at where the sun is in the afternoon picture. Did you guys notice that difference? How those two pictures are different? Okay, my next question then um, is if we look at these pictures that show the sky in the morning, the afternoon, in the middle of the night, imagine that we took another picture of the sky, right? So if we have the morning and the afternoon and the night, what if we had one more picture of tomorrow morning, right? The next morning. What would the sky look like the next morning? What would it look like? And then why would it look like that? Can you again talk to your partner? Why do you think the sky would look like that the next morning? Go ahead, talk to your partner. Okay, so what we've been doing today is thinking about the answers to the questions we already know, right? We know what the sky looks like outside during different times, right? That's something we know already, but maybe we don't know why. And that's our big unit question is, why does the sky look different at different times? And that's what we're gonna be looking at for this whole unit, starting with what we know and then moving on to things that maybe we don't know, all right? We want to start with Sai and his grandma, okay? So here's a picture of a boy named Sai and his grandma, okay? And they live in a place near us. And Sai needs our help figuring out a problem, okay? Sai called up his grandma right before he went to bed. He called her up on the phone. And when he looked out the window, this is what he saw. What do you notice about what Sai saw when he looked out the window? Now, when Sai's grandma looked out her window, this is what she saw. What do you notice about this picture? Yeah, particularly when we look at these two pictures together, we can tell that what Sai saw and his grandma saw is not the same, right? It's different. How did they, how did what they see look the same and how did what they see look different? Let's look at these two pictures. Okay, so that was pretty strange to Sai that if he called his grandma and it was the exact same time for his grandma as it was for him, then how come when, we when they looked at the sky, they saw different things? So we're gonna be sky scientists today and in the next couple weeks and try to figure out how we can help sky figure this problem out, okay? So why did the sky look different to Sai than to his grandma? So let's go ahead and put that question up, this smaller chapter question underneath our big unit question. And I also have a picture, I have a picture of Sai and his grandma to help us remember that those are the folks that we are helping today by figuring out why the sky looked different, okay? We're gonna start by making some sky observations. So if you remember at the very beginning, I said all you would need was somebody to talk to, okay? For this part, so after this video is over, you're gonna need something to write with. So some of you might already have this investigation notebook. Some of you might have it. If you have it, great, this is where we're gonna be doing our work. And some of you don't have this investigation notebook, and that's okay. If you don't have the investigation notebook, you can just use any piece of paper you can find. I've got one right here, okay? And any pen or pencil you can use, and that's what we're gonna do to use our notebook, okay? So, 
If you have the notebook picture, this is what it looks like. Otherwise, just a blank piece of paper is gonna be fine. We're gonna go outside with permission, of course, okay, and with an adult to go with us, and we're gonna draw a picture of the sky. So let's look at the directions together, okay? So we're gonna make observations. So we're gonna go and look and look closely and draw what we see. And I even have this quick video that's gonna show you some really good practices for how to draw um, in your page. Scientists often use drawings to record what they observe so they can remember it. I'll show you how to observe the sky and draw what you see. I'll look up and see what I notice in the sky. I see the sun in the corner and some clouds. Often I see drawings of clouds that are puffy all the way around. But the clouds I see are long and thin. They look kind of like feathers and they're almost see-through. I'll make sure the clouds I draw look like the clouds I observe. Scientists do not spend a lot of time making a perfect drawing if that will not help them remember it better. Now I'm going to add the sun. Without looking directly at the sun, I can tell where it is in the sky. I'll draw the sun, which looks like a circle. Scientists often write labels on their drawings. I will label the sky, the sun, and the clouds that I drew. Okay, did you guys get that? All right, so now to end off, you guys, we're gonna go outside and observe the sky, okay? We don't wanna look directly in the sun because that can hurt our eyes, okay? And on your paper, you're gonna draw what you observe. So just like we saw in the video, we're gonna draw what we observe and we're gonna label our drawings, okay? Now the most important thing, you guys, of course, is that we have adult permission and we go outside with an adult. We've got to stay safe, okay? So let's go outside and make our observations and we can share our observations with each other the next time we meet, okay? So this is the end of today's lesson. Go outside, observe the sky, make sure you've got someone to go with you, make your drawings, and I'll see you next time. All right, bye guys, thanks.